Okay, so I just wanted to make a quick video about what the definition of veganism is. If you look up the word vegan or veganism in any dictionary, you're going to get several different variations on the definition, but I feel the defining and most extensive one was created by Donald Watson, who was also the person who coined the phrase vegan in 1944. And he defined it as follows. The word veganism denotes a philosophy and way of living which seeks to exclude, as far as possible and practical, all forms of exploitation of, and cruelty to, animals for food, clothing or any other purpose, and by extension promotes the development and use of animal-free alternatives for the benefit of humans, animals and the environment. In dietary terms it denotes the practice of dispensing with all products derived wholly or partly from animals. Also, as a bit of additional insight, here's part of a speech that Donald Watson once gave. If the vegan ideal of non-exploitation were generally adopted, it would be the greatest peaceful revolution ever known, abolishing vast industries and establishing new ones in the better interests of men and animals alike. There is an obvious danger in leaving the fulfilment of our ideals to posterity, for posterity may not have our ideals. We do so without fear because we feel that a moral philosophy combined with a dash of common sense is a more rational guide than theories hatched in vivisection laboratories. We will not accept that adequate nutrition need violate conscience. Few dietitians outside the vegan movement had tried living without animal food or had made any serious attempt to solve the diet problem philosophically, as it must be solved. Without the guidance of philosophy, scientific investigation soon floundered in a morass of error. A stricken conscience is not a health measure for anyone. We have to believe our finer feelings of this and proceed from there as stronger men and women. But one is reminded of the reply given by somebody when slavery was abolished and one of the people against abolition said, What on earth is going to happen to the families of the people who make the whips if slavery is abolished? Well, the obvious answer to that, they are given more profitable and humane work to do. And that is the great challenge facing mankind. And if I hadn't formed the society, someone else may have done it very soon, although it may have had a different name. I did appeal to my readers to suggest what the name might be, and I had a list of very bizarre suggestions which some people have already heard of. I won't list them now, but in an inspired moment I settled for the word vegan, which was immediately accepted and over the years became part of our language and is now in almost every world dictionary, I suppose. I think the genie is out of the bottle. No one can ever put it back to the ignorant days before 1944 when this seed was planted by people full of hope, full of aspiration that surely this idea would attract enough followers for it at least to survive. Well, we know that throughout history, nature rebels against any species that becomes too numerous, usually by food shortage or by disease, both of which are now rampaging ahead in the human community without, I won't say without a thought, but without anyone except the vegans having a possible solution to the crisis. The vegan movement, which is now of course an ever-growing world movement, I like to think the greatest movement that ever was, because it's the only one now that can save mankind. We don't know the spiritual advancements that long-term veganism, I mean not over years or even decades, but over generations would have on human life. It would be certainly a different civilization, and the first one in the whole of our history that would truly deserve the title of being a civilization.